Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I just want to show you a quick clip of what it was like for somebody to talk to me from the backcountry using a system of repeaters. Well, this guy is coming through just as I get back in the car and it's muffled. He's asking for a signal check, a signal report. And I went back to him, sorry I didn't catch a call sign, so on and so forth. That video follows here in a second. Um, and it's brief, but the idea is he connected with me through a linked repeater system yet he was still about 36 miles from the repeater he was using, which linked, and then I could use a, a handheld to talk with him. But repeaters really lend a lot of power to handheld radios. So, if you're gonna go into the backcountry and carry a radio like this, and try to connect with the outside world via a system of repeaters, you need to be strategic. You need to know that you can connect with a repeater, first off, so make sure that there's no major interruptions in your line of sight to that repeater. Um, second, 36 miles with this little whip antenna, you better be pretty dang high in the air, not high, but high elevation, in order to get this little antenna to work. So when I go back there, I carry this awesome doohickey. Now this guy is similar length to what the gentleman on the radio that you'll see was talking with. This thing's huge. It's actually so big that it's not practical to hold the radio by itself. It's, uh, it's ridiculous. So oftentimes if I'm carrying this, waiting for a report, I will carry it like this. But anyway, this is a ridiculous antenna, but it does get out and I've had really good luck with it. I'm so impressed with these Abri Chinese antennas that I'm going to get another one. So anyway, have a plan if you're gonna to try to use your HT to get out from the backcountry to a system of repeaters. And you better have a really solid plan if you're going to use an HT to get out using Simplex. And I'll post a link for that video right here. Okay, well, I didn't get, mu didn't get much of that. I did hear that you were on the Evanston repeater and something about long range. Um, and on the previous transmission, I, I did hear Lake Morena, is that right? Roger, Roger, Lake Morena. Uh, yeah, and I'm using a half wave MFT radio that I just a five watt handheld. Uh, you copy this, it kind of depends where I'm moving. You copy okay? Yeah, I copy you. Your signal is, I mean, obviously it's it's good enough to get into the repeater. Your, your quality is probably about a three or four, probably a four. But um, uh, yeah, it, that's that's great. And using those um, those bigger antennas is the way to do it back there. Now I want you to note that this signal, even though we were some 45 miles apart nautically, um, this signal had to travel 110 miles. So his signal hit the re first repeater at about 36 miles. And then it traveled from the that repeater to its linked repeater, and then finally to my location. So, um, you know that this conversation is happening over a bandwidth or whatever, 110 miles long. And that's what's kind of magical about using a linked repeater system to communicate from the backcountry. Thanks for joining me back here at Backcountry Amateur Radio. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up so I can create more content like this, knowing that it's enjoyed. I just don't have the kind of time I want to have. To dedicate to the channel so thank you for your patience and i will continue to uh slowly produce cool videos as content arises for me so thanks again for joining happy trails